Hello friends, uh, welcome to Hila Cooking. I am a little bit hungover today from the Austin Blogger Awards last night. So forgive me if I fumble, but I also thought that I might make some potato latkes today because they are good for breakfast. My dad used to make them for me for breakfast when I was a kid. I think he called them potato pancakes probably, but also it's Hanukkah, so perfect combination. Yay, potatoes! <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grate some potatoes. This is a, a pound of potatoes. It'll probably end up being about two cups once it's grated. And I'm gonna go ahead and grate it on this cloth so that then afterwards we can squeeze some of the water out on the cloth. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it around and do the last little potato on the smaller side. And having some smaller pieces in there will help them hold together a little better. Almost done. Hold on. Okay. That's a whole lot of potato. And they turn a little brown because of oxidation, but you're gonna fry it anyway, so it's gonna be browner. All right, so yeah, I would say that's probably closer to three cups of grated potato if you don't have a scale. Now I'm gonna just throw this over and mash them. Ew, water comes out. I don't wanna rinse them off because I wanna keep the potato starch, but I wanna get rid of some of the liquid. The starch will help hold everything together. Okay, that's probably good. Don't need to go crazy. All right, now I will mix this in the bowl with everything else except the oil, of course, because that's for frying. So potatoes in Oh Lord, they're stuck. You can use paper towel too, but you know how I feel about paper towels. So I just got this out of the dirty clothes. Just kidding, it's clean. Okay, so onion and one egg. Okay, so a minced garlic. You can leave that out, but I like it. And some salt. I'm gonna mix it together with this fork. And I've got this, a little bit of flour here in case we need it. If it seems kind of watery, you can add a little bit of flour, but pressing the moisture out should alleviate that issue. Okay, and uh, this looks well mixed. So I'm gonna let that just sit there while I heat up the skillet. I'm gonna get it pretty hot and I'm gonna use kind of a lot of oil, more than I usually use when I cook things because that's part of the deal. Okay, so about a quarter cup of oil maybe. And set them down and flatten them out a little bit. And the thicker they are, I mean you want them thicker rather than thinner I think, because um, they hold together better. I'm totally gonna set the fire alarm off again today I think. Sweet. All right. So I've got this on high, but I'm going to actually turn it down to like a medium high because I don't want the bottoms to get too brown before the potatoes are actually cooked through. So I guess the deal with Hanukkah, according to my internet research, which is infallible, as we all know, um, like something about magical oil lasted eight nights instead of one, and in honor of that oil, you're kind of sanctioned by the religion to eat fried foods for eight days, which in my book, is 
pretty cool. So like donuts and fried potato cakes and stuff like that. There's probably other stuff too. But uh, so that's like, I guess the traditional reasoning behind using so much oil. You probably could do this with some spray oil or something if you're like conscious of your health. Um, which I'm throwing my health to the wind here today, people. Um, this smells really good though. It smells like frying potatoes and fried onions and I'm looking forward to eating them. So I'm just making sure they're not sticking. Everything's moving. So I don't know if you can see like the, the cooking differenti differentiation here. Like this outer edge starting to look um, more yellow instead of white and a little bit translucent instead of opaque and that's like that's what potatoes do when they cook so that's what you're kind of looking for to know when to flip them it's when the edges all the way up are starting to be soft so I think that some of these are probably ready to flip oh. look at that golden brown deliciousness Whoa, dude, that looks delicious. All right, I'm gonna take that one off. That one needs to go longer. All right, so these are done. I'm gonna take them off. And I have some sour cream and applesauce to serve with them, which is good and traditional. I'm gonna just put a little on this plate. And then try one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. That's really good. Aw, uh, that makes me think of when I was a kid and having those for breakfast with my cosmopolitan daddy. Um, all right, well. I'm gonna eat these. They're very delicious and crunchy and similar to hash browns, but better for some reason. Um, okay, so I'll see you soon. You'll see me soon. And happy Hanukkah, everyone.